We're here um, to do a Greek project. Um, what we're going to do is a Greek painting. Believe it or not, um, the Greeks, their paintings were actually done on pieces of pottery. They didn't have any kind of canvas, they didn't paint on walls, so they painted on their ceramic pots. And typically, the top portion of the vase would have linear designs on it that went around the actual vase. And then in the center, oftentimes, there would be some kind of a figurative image. And then again, at the bottom, they would repeat designs and patterns that went around the vase in concentric circles. Subject matter for the vases ranged from Greek mythology to gods being depicted, the Olympics, battle scenes, anything that they wanted to communicate with the viewer was placed on a vase. What you're going to need for this project, you're going to need some black construction paper, white colored pencils, some scratch etch paper, which is actually just like a white tag board that's been coated with black ink. You can buy that in a local art store and you're going to want to either go to our website um, and get the Greek patterns and designs off of there and also the shapes and the different kinds of Greek pottery that there were. Or you can put the DVD in your computer and just print out a copy so you have something to refer to when you start to decorate your vase. So what I'm going to do here is I've got an 18 by 24 inch piece of black construction paper. And of course, if you wanted to do um, a smaller version, you could use a 12 by 18 sheet of paper. What I'm going to do in order to make this symmetrical is I'm just going to draw half of a vase. I think what I'm going to do is pick an amphora which is basically this design right here. It's got two handles on it. The shapes of different vases depended on what was going to be inside of them. Some were for carrying water, some were for storing olive oil, some were for storing wheats and grains. So what you have to do is you have to make certain that you're drawing on the folded edge. You start at the folded edge right here because if you accidentally start over here at the open edge and draw half of your vase, when you go and you cut it out, you're going to end up with two halves of a, of a vase and you're not going to have the whole thing. It's like when you cut out hearts, you have to make sure that you're drawing on the correct side. So I'm going to put like a little lip up here in the neck of the vase. Okay, um, the Greeks, for a, a period of time, they were doing um, what they called black on red or red on black pottery. They would actually use uh, black glaze and scratch some of the details of the designs into the glaze and let the red clay show through. And um, they would also use the red clay and actually paint the black areas on. So they came up with red on black pottery and black on red pottery. And you could do these with red construction paper if you wanted to and color with black Sharpies. Um, but I actually like the look of the um, white on the black because when we do the scratch board, then you can scratch out the areas and the white will show through. So it makes for a nice little um, contrast there. Okay, so we're going to open up our amphora 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and start with a squiggly line that goes across the top, just like that. And then I'm gonna do one on the handle. And we'll do one over here. And I think I am going to do I'm going to go ahead and start a little checkerboard pattern here. Okay, we finished the checkerboard. Now I'm going to start down at the other end and I'll kind of work my way back towards the center. I'm going to do a little dotted line here. I'm thinking ahead. I think I'm going to do something like a combination of this one and this one. I'm just going to change it a little bit. Okay. 